Hey everybody, how you doing? Wanted to do an update video on this awesome little Mototech 1600 watt 48 volt dirt bike. My son's had it now for around a year or so I want to say. And we're going to go over some of the pros and cons about it. One pro in my eyes is the price. This was right at around $950 and I think that's a great price for a really good dirt bike that has a lot of cool features on it. It's got front and rear suspension, which has been perfect. So first we'll probably go over some pros and then there's gonna be some cons. There's definitely some cons with this, but I think the pros outweigh the cons. So first off, once again, about a year or so, and it's been working flawlessly from, from the standpoint of the motor and the battery. The battery has gone down a little bit. This used to go about 25, 26 miles an hour. Now it tops out at about 23. And of course the range is not as good as it used to be either, but it still performs every day that we take it out. Suspension is great. Um, no issues at all with that. Um, the brakes we did. So the brakes were a little finicky because they come with the one my son got as mechanical brakes. So we did just recently upgrade to hydraulic brakes and the installation was actually very easy they bolt right on we went we went with shimano and he's been loving them it works so much better than the mechanical brakes another pro is the ride comfort is very good a lot of people love the look of this bike so he gets lots of compliments from people and the tires have been great uh, we did get one flat tire once but this because of just how we were driving it, so not a big deal. We did just replace an inner tube, so not a big deal. Um, another con, right off the bat, for some reason, this plug port, this is actually a big con, but you can still work around it. So the pro plug port here did spark for some reason whenever we had it, it plugged into the charger. Nothing caught fire or anything like that, but it did destroy the port. The, the way around that, all you gotta do is pop off this one. Yeah, I got it. So, so you. Yeah, go ahead and explain it. Pop off this one, and there is this right here. Little plug. So this come. So this came with another, like port like this. It was an added one in the box, and basically the other end of that port is this plug, and that connects to your AC adapter, and charges are just fine as if you're using this one so that is a huge bummer that this one broke but you can still charge it and we've been charging it this way for what six to eight months yeah. with no issues it still charges and works totally fine so that was a bummer didn't expect that but once again it does still charge and you could we could replace this if we really wanted to and um as you guys can see i took off most of the panels and this thing looks better and stuff. Yeah, I think it does look cooler. It comes with a front and a back fender and uh, the side players. So. Yeah, yeah. You took you pretty much stripped it down, and I like the looks of it. I think it looks more dirt bikey than than the original way it came with these stickers and all that. He took all the stickers off. Um, has had no issues with the ignition as far as starting it up. Everything has worked flawlessly. We did have to also replace the chain once. Um, I think he hit like a rock or something, maybe. Or I don't know. I hit, I, I hit a decent jump, and it's the chain just snapped. So yeah, I, don't I think know if it was like on too tight to the point where. Yeah, not, not a huge deal. A little bit of a pain to put on and stuff, but it was like thirty bucks, so not a big deal. And it starts right up. The um, yeah, a little battery, battery indicator. Still works perfectly. It's twist throttle, uh, the on and off button, of course, works fine. And this I added. I'm definitely going to fix this. But, um, yeah, this is like a speedometer. Yeah. Uh, we just need to get a battery pack that works with it. We could go. Um, we had to reorder one of these because I think it was something to do with like this. But it's completely snapped and it didn't fit on. And we had to order a brand new one. Yeah, whenever he but, yeah. tried to pop this on, I guess it was too much force or just got old and tired of being popped on and off. Because you do have to pop this on and off every time you want to charge it. So that is a con because that charger port broke. But to replace this shift was only like $18, so not a huge deal. The new one came quick and works perfectly fine. Um, the recommendations, if you do get your kids one of these, 
Um, definitely upgrade to the hydraulic brakes. I know the new ones that they have out come with those standard now, but I would definitely upgrade from the mechanical. This does have the little throttle um, and throttle response and what? Max speed. And max speed sensor here that you can twist and get the max speed out of it. So if you have a younger kid, um, you can set that down. And you can keep this shut so the kid can't open it. Yeah, you can add a screw here that has a special head to it. So your kid probably wouldn't know how to take that screw out to access that. So say you have an eight-year-old and you want them to only go, say, 10 miles an hour. You can twist that little button there and set it to that and it won't go any faster. So that's really good. And as you can see, guys, we're definitely on a construction site where there's a lot of loose dirt and rocks and stuff. So I'll get a little bit of footage of him driving over some of the bigger stuff so you get an idea how this looks and works. If you are a company out there that has e-bikes like this or regular e-bikes, send me a message. I'll uh, review them for you on this channel. Yeah, I've been looking to. I've been looking for some new ones because when this dies down in the next year or two, I'm gonna want um, something like this. Yeah, yeah, and as he's growing, he probably wants a little bit larger one. Maybe something that goes a little bit quicker and has better range. But for a starter bike, he got this. You know, like I said, a year ago or so. Yeah. Um, and it's been great for him. He's been very happy with it. It holds up to 150 pounds, but I've actually ridden it and I'm like 250 and it rode fine. I, I wouldn't think I could ride on it through stuff like this, but just down the street, I mean, 250 pounds, it actually held up just fine. But the recommended max weight is 150, just so you all know. And that's pretty much it for the specs and the pros and cons. So let's get a little bit of footage of him driving this around. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below and we'll try to answer it for you or we could knock out a YouTube short and show you something on this bike. But yeah, he loves it. It's been great and I have no major complaints. Yeah, there's some cons that I threw out there, but after a year of riding something like this, you're gonna have things here and there break or that you're gonna wanna upgrade. All right, this thing gets up to about 23 miles an hour pretty quick and it handles this. I guess rougher terrain, like a dirt bike would, of course. He's gonna take it up this hill. It's pretty steep, it's really hard to tell on camera, but uh, it's a steep little hill, and this will have no issue, of course. This has gone up much, much steeper hills. It's a very cool bike. I'm gonna have him come back around and come up this way. This is much steeper, probably. I don't know, an extra 10 degrees or something. No problem, that was pretty steep. So yeah, it's, it's a fun bike. He tries to ride this almost every day and yeah, no issues. So yeah, I would recommend this bike very much. Um, for the minor issues we've had, I think it's normal. Uh, definitely, once again, would upgrade the brakes. Right, Cole? The brakes are a lot better now. Yeah. And then, you know, the, he has future upgrades he wants to do, like a battery and controller. But as a parent, to me, that's going to make it a little bit too quick. Uh, maybe in a couple years when he's driving or something. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, what you guys think about this bike. If you have one, if you do have one, tell me about it. If you've done any upgrades or if anything broke on yours. And uh, yeah, look, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, once again, if you want to see anything specific, let me know and we can make you a quick video. All right, everybody. Have a good one and we'll see you in the next video.